All right, it's been a while since we've done anything on the Candleman. We, we haven't wanted to do the final projection mapping until we knew where he was going to be exactly in our haunt. So I think we have that nailed down now. We've, we're going to make this crypt for him to be in. And what we're using for our crypt, this might seem like a bit of overkill for a crypt. <laughs> and, and you're right. <laughs> Why do we have all this stuff? Well, the first reason is don't ever let me do framing for your house. <laughs> but the real, the real reason is this was uh, a homemade rock climbing wall that we used for years too. And I was going to take the climbing wall down, but now I figured, all right, well, we'll just use the frame to attach everything to so we can make this crypt. So that's why it looks kind of crazy. <laughs> But the idea is, on the towards the end of the haunt, after they come through a spooky forest, and then they'll come to, to this point, and we'll probably do some kind of a archway or something like that. I'm not sure what yet. And we'll have like a stone wall on this panel here. And then they'll come into the crypt. I've got a couple of the, the foam walls partly built. Obviously I need to do more, but this would... This would be where the Cannonman will be. And then they can exit the haunt that way. And so, yeah, this is, I think this will work. We'll put them in the corner here. And then to project it, we know we need, well, it's about six feet. We need to be about six feet away for the projector to cover the entire Cannonman. So six feet, we can build a little platform and put a projector somewhere up here or we might be able to do it over here too the downside with over here is as people are walking through they might break the beam so we'd have to do it up high enough that it won't break the beam or, or we can try putting it over there so boy Halloween's coming quick isn't it yeah <laughs> so we're running out of time yeah, we could. Yeah, we could. We could put a build a little platform there, projector platform. So we want to get the projector exactly in the exact same spot. Yeah. I'm emphasizing with my hand like this, <laughs> because <laughs> otherwise, it'll it won't match up. It won't fit. Because this is kind of a difficult mass too. It's not just windows and doors like we're doing on the house. It's got all these little hanger downs and things like that. So. Um, well, we're going to have to try to get the projector and the candle man in exactly the same spot every time. That's going to be the challenge. Um, I, I might stick with dark background immediately behind him. Like most of this, most of this we're going to paint to make it look more like stone and not have flat black. But we might even try flat back directly behind him. So if we do get spill over, it'll, it'll absorb some of it. We're going to have to experiment. <laughs> But slowly, slowly coming together with only a few months left till we set up. Um, our, our walls are pink foam. You can see here, and I tried two different methods to carve some rocks out of it. I used a heat knife on this one to kind of carve rocks out of it. And this one I just used the spray paint itself that dissolves away the foam. And really, I can't tell the difference, but I'll let you guess which one is easier to do. <laughs> the heat gun took, or the heat knife took forever. The spray paint was really quick. And then we're also... That was the spray paint, I think. Oh, do I have it backwards? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think you're right, actually, because that's... Oh, yeah, this one has the... Yeah, I think you're right, because it's a little more rough. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. This is coming off. It's more brittle with the heat knife, where the spray paint's more smooth. Yeah, you're right. Um... And then I'm trying this plastic spray that Van Oaks, shout out to Van Oaks, awesome videos. Um, he was using to, to waterproof some stuff. It's the spray stuff that turns into something kind of like plastic. And it's taken a lot of it to cut through this many walls, so we'll see what's left in my budget, especially because wood's really expensive too. But we're, we're hoping that might help it hold up a little bit better against the elements getting this kind of plastic covering on it. So hopefully soon we'll be able to get this room done enough 
and we, actually we don't even need the whole room done. If we just get this corner done enough that we can test out the projector, then we can get to some projection mapping fun again. We have lots of ideas on what we could do with him. See what we get time with. Little creepy eyes peering around in his eye sockets. Maybe changing colors based on how he feels. We'll have fire on each of the, the candles. And we'll probably do it with something goofy like this. <laughs> Where it's just a little roughly flame shaped piece of cardboard or wood that we can project the flame onto. So, and you can see us testing that out a little bit on our, uh, we have another video that I'll put in the, the description or link it here at the end and it'll show our projection mapping that we did testing this out a little bit. So, yeah, that's where we're at and shout out to Raleigh Crump too. This is his genius work, the candle man that never got put in Disneyland's Haunted Mansion. So we decided that to honor him, we'll build one for him. And hopefully we'll be able to add a whole bunch of candles and stuff around in here for ambiance too. It should be cool.